this is a practice test for solid mechanics and this is question three about an eccentrically loaded column with a square cross section that's square and hollow um, so uh, the basic setup looks like this uh, you've got your column and you've got some off-center load it's off-center by 300 millimeters and the magnitude of the load is 100 kilonewtons um, and the first thing to do in all these cases uh, is to convert from an off-center axial or an off-center um, compressive load to an axial compressive load plus a bending moment and we'll, the axial compressive load stays the same and the bending moment is force times distance so that's 100,000 times 0.3 meters which equals uh, 30 kilonewton meters um, then you deal with those two things separately so first of all uh, let's just look at the axial load stress equals force over area um, we can probably do a side calculation just about the area for a second area equals um, we're looking at a square like this with a square cut out of the middle this is 500 millimeters squared uh, oh no sorry this is 1000 uh, just reading the question more carefully and this is 500 so the area is um, 1000 millimeters squared that's a square meter minus 0 0.5 meters squared um, and that's going to be 0 0.75 meters 0.75 square meters to be precise uh, that's the area of this shaded section here in case that wasn't clear um, so then we can say okay well stress is force over area is 100,000 divided by 0 0.75 which comes out at 133.33 etc kilopascals then we can look at the bending moment problem um, and again it's just worth thinking the bending moment Uh, we need to think about the neutral axis in bending it's symmetric so it's going to be straight down the middle and um, we've already seen once in this question paper but we'll see it twice now that uh, the uh, second moment of area we're going to need the second moment of area here to start thinking about bending second moment of area for a rectangle is bh cubed over 12 um, uh, i for the whole section equals I1 that's the outer the second moment of area of the outer square minus I2 and I1 uh, is going to be the breadth which is 1 meter times the height which is 1 meter cubed divided by 12 minus the breadth which is 0 0.5 meters times the height which is 0 0.5 meters cubed divided by 12 so that is 1 to the power of 4 divided by 12 minus 0 0.5 to the power of 4 divided by 12 which comes out at 0 0.078125 meters to the 4. So now we can say for the bending moment calculation from the data sheet sigma over y equals m over i um, and therefore sigma equals m y over i equals um, in the question we were asked for the maximum and minimum normal stresses so we'll find the extreme values at these two points here um, which means y 
is 500 millimeters. It's the distance from this neutral axis to the extreme point that we're interested in. So then 30,000 is our moment times 0.5 meters is our value of y divided by 0.078125 which comes out as 192 kilopascals. Um, just thinking about some details here, this stress here is always compressive. Um, and this is compression. Well, you can imagine if the bending moment's going like that, then it's in compression on the right hand side and it's in tension on the left hand side. So the maximum stress occurs in compression and um, that is when the compression due to, it's, it's here, it's on the right hand side, it's when the axial load and the uh, bending moment both cause compression and it's 133 plus 192 Um, KPA, which is 325 KPA compression. Compression plus compression equals compression. And then we can also say the minimum stress equals uh, 133 minus the 192. This time that one's the 133 is compression, the 192 is tension, so they act against each other, which comes out as negative 59 kPa, which is uh, the negative means if the positive is compression, negative is tension. Um, so it's 59 kilopascals tension. And I'll just mark up that those are my final answers. And that is 3A done. Uh, 3B is quite quick then. 3B says we'll plot the graph of stress distribution across the column as a function of distance from the left hand edge. So we have sigma the stress and we have x the distance from the left hand edge which goes from 0 here to 1 meter here. The column's 1 meter across. And we know that the value is minus 59 uh, kilopascals on the right hand side and plus 325 uh, I haven't really drawn out my axes very well here you'll forgive me um, on the so minus 59 on the left hand side where tension and compression are against each other plus 325 on the right hand side and the other thing that you know uh, from this equation here is that stress is a linear function of y. It's just some number times y, the distance from the neutral axis. Um, and so it, a linear function means it looks like a straight line on the graph. Um, so that is the um, graph of stress in the column as a function of distance from the left hand edge. And you could if you wanted to go on and find that point there and things like that, but that's not specifically what's asked for in the question. So that's it.